Hi, hello. Um, welcome back to my channel. So, bit of a weird intro, but basically I'm going to be reupholstering my furniture. Um, I got this lovely uh, set, what was it, five piece set um, from uh, Facebook and it was only like $400 and I've always wanted this set. However, you can see it in the background there, that's one of them. Um, basically, I'm not a big fan of the colour. It's um, starting to uh, get holes in them um, and it's just dusty and dirty and not my aesthetic. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to be reupholstering them. Um, I have been watching videos for the past two weeks, three weeks. Um, I am in no way a professional. I have never done this before. And I have a pair of rusty pliers to help me go along. So basically, um, yeah, not a, not a tutorial, just me flailing and hoping for the best. So this is the chair I'm starting with. Um, basically, it is super super wobbly um apparently the previous owner said that she her kids used to um usually sit on these so they've been knocked bumped sat on squeaked and basically they're just coming apart so that's why i was like all right that's all right i'm going to reupholster it it'll be fine i can fix everything Uh, let's hope I do. So, basically, if I, ooh, if I get up really close here, I've already taken one out, as you can see. So, with all the other videos I've seen, they've had trim lining along here. And they've just basically ripped it off, and that was that. And then they took all the pins out. This is a little different. Um, I... At first, I thought all these little buttons here were individual pins, and I had to take them all out. However, upon taking this one out, I have realized it's one long uh, strip of metal stripping, basically, and they are stuck in with these little pins. Um, I don't know if I can take one out and show you. Oh. So, upon trying to take one out, I've noticed that it's like this. So, obviously, not each one is pinned down. So, you can see the hole there from that one. So, I'm just going to go through and take them all off. This is around the whole part of the chair up here. It's all along, like, the back edges as well. It's along the front, the sides. So, definitely not going to be showing you everything as I'm doing it but um I will show you the progress I made whoop aha ha, 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 ha. so these is what's getting pinned down basically every so often okay so I have finished taking off all the edge pieces as you can see this is pretty much what it looks like off so you can see the holes where basically all these little pins were put into like yeah so they were all held in around the edges here and I'm so glad I'm repolstering it because all the rust along here is so bad and you know, it's all rusty along here, and it's like, ugh. I have no idea how old my chair is, by the way, or my set is. Um, I'm going to see if I can find out. Oh, cat, hello. I'm going to see if I can find out and let you know and let myself know. But basically, as I was taking some of these, uh, some of the tacks out, I was actually ripping the, um, the fabric. And the amount of dust that came up um, when I did that was horrendous. So, 10 out of 10, so glad I'm doing this. But you can kind of see, like, the discoloration as well. Um, 
glad I'm doing this. It's going to be a long journey, but we shall get there in the end. Okay, so what I'm doing now is this is a little hole I've made with the fabric. Um, my legs under here because this is the wobbly ass chair, so it will fall over if I don't secure it. But basically, what I've done is just gotten under with my rusty pliers, and I'm pulling. I don't want to completely destroy the um, uh, the fabric, but because like I'll be using that as a template with my um, new fabric, so I've got an idea. But basically, I'm just going through and taking everything off. Okay, so progress. So I've gotten the entire back off, and I've also gotten the front part off. Hello, little miss. <laughs> so, upon taking the back off, I found this. And this makes me think that, number one, this isn't very old. And number two... I don't actually know. Um, unless it's been reupholstered before and, like, because all of this obviously wouldn't have been done, like, very, like, later on. Um, this is probably, this is very new, basically. If anyone has any idea what this is, let me know. Um, also, in the back, I found this. So this was what giving it padding in the back. Um, it's just... A mess basically um, please don't attack it I saw that butt wiggle basically this was actually folded up in like the lining of it so it was folded over then stapled on as you can tell I'll probably reuse that it's in it like you know it's messy it's crap but still has its shape and it's still the shape to the back here so why not um so basically all i'm doing is i'm just ripping out like along the staples i'm using my pliers because there are staples everywhere and i really do not want to get stabbed right now has been repulsed because just looking at the quality it's good quality blah 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 however that back panel that um plasticky fabricy type of thing has been sewn into here to create the divots and then another layer has been added on to the outside so i kind of want to keep the back but at the same time, I don't know how else I would thread everything through and create the divot points if I don't remove the back, because I'm going to need to get to the back. Um, so that's going to be a little bit of fun. I most likely will end up taking off the back because I have to in order to get the divot points. Um, yeah, keep on going, I guess. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the plastic I was talking about. And it has been held in by staples. Like, tiny staples. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and keep as much of this as I can. Um, basically, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and keep as much of this as I can um, and carefully remove all the little pins and staples and everything around the outside. Um, I'm probably going to keep like this yellow um, trim. I'm probably going to keep it on because I'm not going to do anything else besides that. But I am going to take this off because that's like this, yeah, this part of the chair, so the, the sitting part, has actually been sewn into the chair down here with this coming over. So I take this off anyway, like I said, wish me luck. Hi, hello. It's been a couple of days. Um, basically, so all I want to show you is what I've done to the chair um, at this point. Because um, I've done a little bit off camera and I'll let you know. So what I've done is I have put uh, glue all throughout here. Basically, I tried to drill a screw to attach these two together. However, I split the wood and just didn't want to ruin it anymore. However, this is kind of a really bad sight. It's on this side and over there as well. Basically, the chair doesn't move like as much anymore, but it's still very fragile. So I think what I'm going to do is going to use this chair as a display only um, and then have my other chair. So I've got two of these. Um, I'm going to have my other chair as the good chair, the one you can sit on because that one doesn't need any of this. So that's what I'm going with now. So what I'm going to do at the moment is I'll show you my fabric. Alrighty, so this is the fabric I picked up. It is black velvet. Um, it is super thin. So I'm really hoping that it will go over these little parts nicely. This under here is my black trim. That's going to cover up like all these parts along here where the buttons were. Um, so it's just this nice black um, trim quite pretty really liked it super expensive so <laughs> it's gonna be interesting having to do the three seater couch um with this but that is what i'm gonna do i'm going to measure up um how much lace i need to use to cover the bottom then start putting everything through
I have finished all my buttons. They are all individually done, sewn and with the little tips taken off. Basically what I'm going to do now is sew these with um, the fabric on the back of the chair. Don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, kind of wing it basically, um, but yeah. So it's not the straightest or the cleanest cut, but basically I will be going over like these loose bits area with the nail gun and then all this will get cleaned up with um, the trim. But yeah, so basically I've just gone around where the original design was, attempted to staple as much as I could. I forgot to fold up, which means like these little bits are happening here. Um, and you know some areas such as over here is loose um, I did staple into the fabric in there which is why there's a yellow the little yellow spot but it all comes with learning so yes yeah, so I'm just gonna go up put more staples along here and then finally start the trim what down,